In this video, we will understand the bevel filter that we see in the substance painter rule. But question is that this is the same bevel filter that we use on 3ds Max, Maya, or Blender. No, it really doesn't work like that. It only works on your texture. It can be your brush stock or your black and white texture. So let me show you for a second demonstration. I just keep this video very simple so you can understand step by step. So I just created a fill layer, only enable the height. And then after that, I created a black mask. And then I added the paint. You can add here, so simple. So let me disable all. So you can see over here, let me enable the grayscale mode. All you have to do is that hold, hold Alt and then right left click. Okay, so after that, draw a stroke, brush stroke. Okay, then after that, add a bevel filter, simple. Just add it here if you don't know. Add a filter, you can choose a bevel. So let me turn on the bevel. And then after that, you have to tweak your the setting. Uh, according to your need uh, what type of result you want okay so you can see you can also there's some more setting I think angle but I use this round for the most of the cases uh, so you can see this one and then after that if you find the uh, edges uh, more blur I mean hard all you have to do is that enable the blur filter I mean add a blur filter you can see over here and then after that if you want to tweak more you can tweak, tweak with this one uh, labels just add a labels and adjust it according to your needs so this is how you can use the uh, bevel filter and one more thing that you can also add your texture just add a fill layer over here let me disable this uh, paint layer and then after that search your any texture that you have or any procedural one so i will use this one okay i use this one and then after that you can adjust the settings so you can also uh, import your own textures and make a good use of this bevel filter it's very interesting one so comrade i hope this video really helped you so if you are new to my channel you can smash the annoying subscribe button so comrade we will meet in next video